Practice and Pancakes. As always, I'm your host, Coleman Hodges. We are here at the Villa Diner in Charlottesville, Virginia, and we just went to a practice with Cavalier Aquatics. Let's check out this pancake action this morning. I've got a veggie omelet and French crepes. Let's give these crepes a rating. Oh, that is a good pancake. Light, fluffy. I know this might be sacrilege. I'm not doing maple syrup this morning, trying to watch that calorie count. But it's got cinnamon sugar sprinkled on top. Give it a very solid 8.5. And I'll say it, I like really thin pancakes. Getting to this Cavalier Aquatics practice, I was very impressed by Coach Gary Taylor and his group of 40 plus senior swimmers. They had 10 lanes of water and they still were going four to five in a lane. I'm always exceedingly impressed when you have a big group like this, especially of club swimmers, and they get in all at the same time. That might have been the most mind-blowing thing we saw this morning. And just wait because we see some pretty mind-blowing stuff. group was getting ready for speed work this morning and they had a really fun warm up. They were thinking technique, they were thinking race strategy, they were using two different kind of paddles. They were doing underwater open tumble turns which as a spectator is one of my favorite things to watch and they are using golf balls. I'll let Coach Gary explain that one right now. Yeah I picked that up a, a few years ago that was actually I read an article North Thornton used that for his breaststrokers but the idea of opening the hands uh, so we, we typically do it in kind of uh, with three fingers open uh, and, and what it's supposed to do is engage your lat muscles. So if you're really rotating into the catch, stretching to the catch, you open the hands uh, and it, it engages, not, gives you a feel in the hands, the forearms, but it also engages the lat muscles, which is what we want to do if we're using our body line and core. What I was most impressed about this main set from Coach Gary is that they were working on very race specific things. He was emphasizing thinking about your kick count for your 100 speed, getting up to race stroke count, getting up to race under waters for, for your 100. I get that for college athletes is a pretty routine thing, certainly for pro athletes, but for club kids, for high school kids to be focusing on those kind of specific race details, it's pretty impressive to me working on some 50s where we're kind of getting out and holding high end speed. Our 50s this morning will be on two minutes. In the middle portion of each round has 25s. We're really focused on the little details that we need to maintain at the end of a 100. Kick count, rate rhythm, stroke count, finishing through the wall. And then we'll actually do a dive 100 uh, with the focus being can we continue to maintain those components at the end of each round? And let's get to the main attraction. One of the big reasons why we came to Cavalier Aquatics to see the 13-14 NAG record slayer Thomas Hailman in action. He did not disappoint. They were doing 50s at 100 speed, followed by hundreds off the blocks. Thomas Hailman did the whole set fly. I'll leave you with this. He went 24-0 on 150, and that was his slowest 50.
leave you with this. They did three 100s off the blocks over the course of the set. Thomas Hailman, doing butterfly on all three 100s, did not go 49 once. You might be saying to yourself, well, okay, I expected that. I was thinking 50, 51. That's what I was thinking. Oh no.
intensity and workout. Really good job this morning. Uh, give your coaches some appreciation on the way out. Have a great day. Hey, back to school today, right? Woo! I was talking about it earlier. Eighth day in the last almost month and a half. That's crazy to me. <laughs> Who's going to break it? Sophia, you. Break it down. Oh! Yep. Break it down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>